And world leaders are being told to take climate change action to stop glaciers from melting in Peru. More than 70% of the world's tropical glaciers exist in the country, providing vital water for farming and drinking. The sun rises over the Cordillera Blanca mountains high in the Peruvian Andes. These mountains are home to huge glaciers that provide water for farming and drinking to millions across northern Peru. But they're literally melting away at an astonishing rate. One third have gone in just 10 years. You used to be able to drive to the glaciers in Peru. To see them now, you have to walk. Charlie Good has been here for 17 years. He took us to the Yanapacha Glacier at just under 5,000 metres. The changes to the mountains and its glaciers because of global warming are, he says, all too obvious to see. You can see that massive rock slab which is now exposed. When I was here 17 years ago, or maybe even 15 years ago, that has receded all the way, way back, so a couple of hundred metres. The melting waters from the glaciers fill huge lakes that in turn provide water further downstream. Too much water and they flood and the water is lost. Across northern Peru, the glacial waters are directed into vast farms. Its produce exported worldwide. These are strawberries grown on the side of the mountain. Experts say that increasingly erratic climate conditions and the drop in glacial water is threatening these farms' existence. But the water that comes... One of the world's leading authorities on this is Cesar Porto Carrero. He's been warning Peru and the world about the effects of climate change for two decades. Now, he says, we're on the edge of disaster. We are leaving the problem, as James Hansen say, storms for our grandchildren. We are leaving the problem for them. And if we love them, we should work things now. Lima is one of the world's driest capitals. It barely rains. Without the precious glacial water that is directed to the center of town, it would all look like this. A desert with people struggling to live. Even the people on the edge of town depend on water channeled to them from the glaciers. Without the glaciers, there is no life. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News.